Hi friends, Christy Glass here with a 45% FO for you. I'm not going to call it a whip because I'm not going to finish it. So, and it's not abandoned. I guess it's an unfinished object. I guess we'll call this an unfinished object. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you all about it. In preparation for EYF, the Blacker Yarns Company sponsored the Podcaster Lounge, which I was so grateful to be a part of. And they sent me some yarn before the festival so I could become familiar with it. And the yarn is this, oh, I'm gonna get this wrong. I feel like this was the four ply. They call it four ply in the UK instead of fingering weight. And it was, it is, and not was, it is Jacob which is a type of sheep. And they sent me these two, they weren't quite full skeins, and I, I remember measuring them to find out how many grams, but I can't remember now off the top of my head. So this one is a dyed, a natural fleece, and then this one is spun with that dyed yarn. So it's like the natural charcoal with this together. And it, even in this screen, they look like they're high contrast enough to use in color work. I even took a photo of them together and did the black and white white trick. Here, we'll go black and white now. Black and white, black and white, black and white. And to me, they look like they're high contrast enough using the black and white trick where you take a photo and then put the black and white filter on it. So it turns out I think I might have been wrong about that. And I think the main reason is because this has that same color mixed in with it. So when they're put together, the fabric just looks a little muddy. I decided to attempt my very first mitten and the mitten pattern I purchased is called Night Owl Mittens. And it's by Jord Lindvik. It seems like a Scandinavian name. I probably said it wrong. J-O-R-I-D space L-I-N-V-I-K. Now, I did some Insta storying to ask for some guidance as I began my first mitten. And one takeaway I had was from Paige the Framer who said, the cuff of my mitten could be my gauge swatch. So I read through the pattern and it said to use size three needles and I started my cuff. I believe the cuff was meant to be 60 stitches on a three. So once I did that and started knitting, I realized that this mitten was not going to fit by any stretch of the imagination. I went all the way down to 1.5 on what turns out are some of my favorite DPNs. And unfortunately, there is no label on these, but they're kind of a walnut, sort of. I have this feeling they might be Knitter's Pride, but I also might be completely wrong because it's been a while since I bought these. But they're kind of this dark wood and they're really soft and I and the sturdy. Some of the, the birch ones or the lighter wood, they seem like they're gonna break and they have some flexibility, which kind of can be good, but this has just, just the right amount. Really enjoyed working with these. So I went down to 1.5 and I put on 60 stitches and realized also it's still gonna be way too big. And then I thought, well, I could go down all the way to 40 and then just increase at the very end to get back up to 60, which is what I ended up doing. And the cuff of these mittens fits me really nicely. I have small wrists, and um, so I really like how it turned out. Okay, before I show it to you, before I reveal, I love working with the chart. It's really fun. To me, it brings together my background of cross stitch, and when I say background, I mean when I was a kid doing cross stitch many, 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 many years ago. I did some cross stitch as a young adult, but I really haven't properly cross-stitched probably since Pippa's stocking and she will be six. And I only did that because I wanted her to have a uniform stocking with the rest of our stockings. I used Shepherd's Bush pattern, which is really beautiful. I should do a video about our stockings. I'm gonna do that. So I like color work because it brings together cross-stitch, my background in cross-stitch and knitting. And it was very fun to knit this owl. However, the contrast wasn't high enough, so it was very disappointing. And I kept thinking about that beautiful yarn that Ellie of Skein Deer Knits brought me from, um, it's, she's from London, but I believe it was a Norwegian yarn, and it was cream and this bright red, and I thought, next time I attempt mittens, I'm definitely using the yarn that she brought me, because this was a disappointment. So as you can see, I mean, you can see that owl. In fact, on the screen, I can almost see it better than I can in real life. You can see the owl, right? There he is. So I guess it's not complete bust, 
But just after seeing so many of these amazing mittens that people have been making, I realized this is not going to cut it for me. The fiber itself, this yarn, is really nice. I loved working with it. And I suggest when people use color work in a pattern for the first time, they should really choose a sticky wool. So I will recommend Blacker Yarns. This is the Jacob 4-ply. I highly recommend this yarn. It's just... <laughs> This just didn't work out for me. So at first when I finished this, I thought this was going to be, was too big and I was disappointed in it. But now that I have it on, I think it might be okay. There's definitely plenty of room for my fingers to wiggle around. I don't know if that's good or not. I can actually, right now I have my fingers completely touching inside this mitten and I can fold it around that much. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And it's a little long, but it's okay because then you can pull the mitten down and it can cover more of your wrist, which is important when you are really out in the elements. So you can see I did the 40, fits great, and then I just increased right here at the wrist joint and then was able to finish it in pattern. I got to the thumb and I decided to stop because I actually, I ran out of time. I was going to try to make these 40YF and then I was so frustrated with the, the lack of contrast that I just stopped working on the mitten, which is why I called it a 45% finished object. Maybe I'll just make up the thumb as a memento. I don't know. But I do think the thumb is going to work out just fine. I mean, look at where my thumb, thumb is sticking out. Seems just fine. All in all, this was a good experiment. And I have to say, if you're going to invest time in making a pair of mittens for someone, you should consider your first try an experiment. It's kind of like when you're learning a new game and you and your family sit down and feel baffled by all of the different directions. And then you just... Do it. You just go through it step by step. You, it's not cheating. You're just helping each other learn the game. That's what this mitten was for me. And what it taught me was that, number one, I really like mittens a lot more than socks. I'm shocked. I'm shocked too. Number two, I can do it. Number three, there are going to be so many amazing combinations of high contrast yarns out there that I can now use to make amazing mittens for people. So I am actually really excited about the prospect. And so I wanted to share, in case you haven't tried it before, I don't think you should be intimidated by it. I think it's easier than it seems, and you can totally do it. This pattern again, just to remind you, is the Night Owl Mittens by Jord Lindvik. I have to say, there are so many cool mitten patterns on Ravelry, and you can search by weight. So get your yarn, if you have this yarn you know you're gonna really wanna use and love, Get the yarn first, maybe, and then you can search by the weight of yarn, or if you just want to search for a mitten, find the mitten of your dreams and then buy the yarn for it, you can do it that way too. Either way, you're going to be making mittens soon. I think this could actually be a really nice summer project because it is wool, but it's, such, it's small enough that it's not on your lap and getting sticky on your arms and whatever, it just can kind of stay compact. So it seems like funny timing to talk about it in the spring summer, but I think it could be your next summer project. Thanks for checking into Christy last nights and I'll see you later. Bye.